super exciting. It's quite a quite we, an accomplishment. I wish that it had not fallen okay. on the on the holiday week because yeah was, yeah it kind of wow well, I mean it made everything a little bit tougher. Yeah, it's very it's very commendable. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah I suppose uh, two hundred. That's all right. And two hundred episodes. Well, because done. because of the holiday week, we decided not to you know like do a live broadcast or anything right. like that because it'd be just be a little you know difficult to arrange this was difficult enough to arrange <laughs> yes the threes uh, of us yes uh you know we can we can possibly do something with the um uh you know maybe the four year anniversary the four year or you know just the 201st episode that sounds agreeable to everyone <laughs> yes. I, uh, that sounds agreeable to me probably uh, not the 201st more so the four year anniversary well, just the 208 you know, to each, uh, something to each like own. that. Yep, sounds about right. Is it? I mean, we've done weekly episodes. In yeah, F- fifty-two times four is two hundred and eight. I did math, so I, I, I got off my app and did some math. That's good. <laughs> good for you. It's good. Excellent of you. Well, um, I don't, know, we don't really have uh, much of any news, so I I think we should uh, should get right into the weekly watches. Hey, um, although I did see one thing. Uh, Brick was saying that How I Met Your Mother has been uh, renewed for another season. I saw that um, Sons of Anarchy has been renewed for at least another two seasons. Another. I just want them both to end. What, what are you going to watch if they both end? Yeah, seriously, what are you going to watch? Uh, I'll re- start with rewatching Spartacus. All right, but you're going to be on a... <laughs> really? Man, come on! Come on! Oh, well, that was almost exactly two minutes into the episode. That, it, it is strange to hear the British style uh, sirens here in in uh, in Denver. It's kind of yeah. an unusual thing. I don't That's know if I would have. Oh wait, actually, I know that I wouldn't have broken the language thing. No, it's fine. It's fine. I just went ahead and took care of that early on. Well, it's Thanks quite for strange. getting that out of the way, Brick. It's quite strange. So no, I, you can't keep I doing the NPR voice if you I dropped an F bomb. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I felt that it needed acknowledgement in a All right. in a certain way. Okay, sounds great, Mr. Brick. Thanks for acknowledging it. Oh sure. yeah, oh yeah, totally. Ignore it. Ignore it. Ignore it. Um. Okay, I'm done now. <laughs> so <laughs> right, I honestly, I really would like to see those shows end, just because I want them to end nicely. Maybe I just I want them to end on a good note. Something like not like what they're doing with Dexter for me, which is go on forever. Yeah, yeah, with no reason. And this season, I was really excited about it being the last season of How I Met Your Mother. Well, as long as it keeps. Ratings up and making money, they're just like. Oh, Which is I'm funny because I've heard that cow. I've heard nothing about like it being a good season this season. It really hasn't been that good of a season. No. no. Although I did like this uh, this last one. Yeah. Oh yeah. The, they, uh, I mean, the elaborate ruse. The ruse. The yeah. Robin. The Robin. Yeah. Yeah. And there's. I mean, there's plenty of good moments this season, but the season as a whole hasn't been that good. And they're like, I'm watching, and I'm like, they are really, really. You know, reaching for some of these uh, these laughs this season. Yeah. So, <clears throat> is there is there a show that all three of us are caught up on that we could talk in a spoilery nature about? Homeland. Nope. 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 <laughs> Archer. No. Well, I mean, well, I, don't, yeah, uh, I mean, what, is, what, what, what were gonna, we watching? What episode spoil? seven. Uh, six or seven of yeah. season three. What are you gonna spoil? I don't. I don't yeah, know. There's nothing to spoil. Um. Nope. 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 Just Battlestar Galactica. I guess we'll get around that to that eventually. All right. Well, let's uh, go ahead and get into the weekly watches. Uh, what you listening to, Brick? Um. Well, this week I uh, listened to a little bit of. A uh, band that I had really never heard of before called uh, uh, Metric. And yeah. Like a lot of their stuff. Like a lot of their stuff. If you had to relate them to two other artists, what would those artists be? Um, it's a tough one. I don't know. It just I think that's kind of why I like them because I can't. I can't really uh, put my finger on it. Wow. Yeah. These are. What is what's going on here? 
Yeah, don't worry about it. Okay. Level later. Level later. Um, but yeah, you know, really good band. Okay. Highly, highly suggest for great success for Excellent. everybody else. Um, also, Girl and Guy, uh, listen to the Seth Green episode. Oh, I, the, I was that totally in the sixties or seventies somewhere? Um, yeah, it was like just last week, like a week before. Christmas. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. And um, I feel like I would enjoy that that episode. Yeah, yeah, it was. I enjoy was really most episodes. Mm-hmm. And like he was, um, he was talking about how he met with the <laughs> the guys who were protecting the president, you know, like the Secret Service, and they were showing him all like the guns that they use and everything, and they have like. A sniper rifle that weighs like three pounds and it's as tall as I am. <laughs> wow, it's ridiculous! But he's showing Aisha all these pictures, and she's like, "Oh my god, I'm I'm totally gonna post these for everybody." He's like, "No, no, you can't. It's it's against security protocol." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, nice. And so she, she, they spend like fifteen minutes talking about these photos, and then they, no one gets to see them. Yeah. But uh, it was it was good. Well, that being the case, she shouldn't have gotten to see them. And they were talking about a lot of a lot about his time on uh, Buffy because that's where he like oh was, sure like, his first big thing. And um, uh, then that later that evening, after I had already listened to it, I went home, watched an episode of Buffy, his first episode on Buffy. <laughs> oh, that's awesome! It just <laughs> that's happened, happened to be it just happened to be. So uh, and then uh, yeah, that's that's really all I've been listening to. So. How about you, Jordan? Uh, the band May, M-A-E. I just happened to listen to them today. Otherwise, I haven't really been listening to much. Just random music uh, on my Zoom on my way to work. And um, I was forced to listen to country while I was at work, but it was, wasn't was anything that I knew. So, Was it Merle Haggard with I Kissed My Baby With My Fist? Uh, no, Merle Haggard is Western. It's not country music. Well, isn't it country Western music? No, no. There is country, and then there is Western. And you were forced to listen to country. Correct. Define. Define. Well, yeah. What What was it that you were forced to listen to? Oh, I don't know. That's what I was trying to say. Is I don't know who it was. Oh, okay. He just knows that it was country and not Western. If it was Willie Nelson, I would have been happy. Well, yeah. I mean, all of us. I would have been happy for you. Yes. Yeah, but it wasn't Willie Nelson. I don't know. Was it like, like Toby Keith? I, I I told you, Brick. I don't know what it was. <laughs> <laughs> How many times do I have to say this? Just trying to drag out your incredibly short segment. Jordan. I'm. I haven't been listening to much. I don't listen to podcasts, which I I know I need to get back into. But I yeah, just, you do. Yeah. yeah. Seriously, whose fault is that? You should write, listen to uh, podcasts on the bus. I sleep on the bus. <laughs> yeah, but you could be sleeping on the bus while listening to a podcast. <laughs> well, then I would have to re-listen listen to, to that. Listen to a podcast while the wheels on the bus go round and round. There's a hole. There's <laughs> a hole. There's a hole in the bottom of the sea. <laughs> I knew that was coming. I knew it was coming. <laughs> yep. Jeffrey, since you were uh, all about listening to things, what have you been listening to? I uh, listened to Freakonomics Radio this week. And I also listen to Girl on Guy, but I'm uh, on number 28. I started at the beginning and, and am moving forward. Um, let's see. I listened to the Moth podcast and um, listened to about half of an episode of Fat Man on Batman. Fat Man on Batman. But uh, he is joined by Scott Mosier. And I think um, somehow an older episode got got put in or Oh, you know what? Actually, I'm listening to this one from the beginning. Um, so it's like episode nine or ten, and they're talking about the uh, the Dark Knight Rises. Oh, so it wow. is an older one. Oh yes. Yep. And then I listened to Lobbycast One Ninety Nine. Oh yeah, I guess I did too. Because when we were on the way to the Punch Bowl, Sam Sam popped that in. Oh I don't nice. Know if it was One Ninety Nine, might have been One Ninety Eight. I think actually. Yeah. But. And uh, then I also listened to uh, Portishead, a uh, self-titled album, Portishead, Portishead. Yeah. And it is uh, so nice. Um, got it on vinyl, and it's two records. So Very cool. Yeah. I was not able to play them both at once because I do not have turntables, two turntables. I only have 
two turn ta- or one turntable and four, four microphones. microphones. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but that was about it. Um, really cool going back and listening to a band that you know used to listen to, geez, forever ago. You know, when I was a a, a young man, my my college age years. So, yes, forever ago. Indeed. Indeed. All right. All right, well, let's move on to what you're watching. Uh, Mr. Jordan, what you got? Oh, okay, we're going to go with me. Yeah. <laughs> Fine. We gave you time to catch up. <laughs> Shoot a <the> glass. <laughs> so we will start with that. Uh, last night I got to watch Die Hard. It was Christmas night last night, and that is a long-running tradition in my family, uh, amongst other people's families, I'm sure, but... Die Hard is it's something I always watch around Christmas time, and it happened to be actually on Christmas Day um, this year. So watched Die Hard, watched a lot of season three of Archer. I think I watched the first eight episodes this, or seven episodes this last week. Yeah, very good. Season three is really good. It's so funny. It may be the funniest season of out of the three. I like. I, you know, I honestly, they're all just great. Yeah, I just I like I like that show. Aisha Tyler is great. Uh, John Benjamin is great. Yeah, everybody's just really funny. Well, I I say probably my favorite character other than Archer is um, uh, Pam. Yeah, <laughs> or I, Cheryl. Cheryl. Or Cheryl. Yeah, Cheryl I, I almost said Cheryl, but I I may have dated Cheryl at one point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I know I have. <laughs> we, we, may, we may all have dated Cheryl. Or a Cheryl, as it were. Because yeah. she was a cartoon character. Not that Cheryl. Just a Cheryl. Yes. A so. Cheryl. Yeah. I may have dated some Pam myself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <Did> yeah. <laughs> what can I say? Uh, so that's... I, I just really like that show. It's It's a lot of fun. And I watched the most recent episode of How I Met Your Mother... Which is a good time. Like I said, I want this the show to end, so I feel like that it is ending on a high note rather than getting so terrible that I don't want to watch it anymore. Like I like with Dexter, because I gave up on Dexter about halfway through the season. I just couldn't. It's, sure. And it's I, I'm hearing that it's not a bad season. That's pretty decent. But it doesn't matter because I've given up on the show. It's going to get worse and worse until you have to take it out in the field and shoot it. <laughs> and, and then it'll pull the gun on you and kill you instead. Uh, maybe. Yeah. Possibly. Entirely possible. Yeah. It's entirely possible. So, uh, I think I got some robot chicken in there, and that was good. Which which episode did you watch of Robot Chicken? Yeah, one with Santa Claus. Uh, Where he uh, um, kills everyone in the Coke CEO board office. No. Uh, no. For using his name and likeness. Nope. No, it wasn't that one. It was okay. a different one. I well, I I think I saw it was the most recent it. Christmas episode, and and uh, he fights Jason Bourne in it. That's and, right. Uh, and uh, yeah. there's a there's a Grinch seg- segment. Right. He wakes uh, up yes. with some some PTSD nightmares, choking his wife. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, the show has very few boundaries. Well, and I love how how Santa's voice is uh, the voice of Lois's dad. Yeah, and that's what I I told Jeff. I'm like, I think Santa Claus is Peter Schmidt. <laughs> nice, awesome. I uh, oh, oh, oh. We watched The Hobbit this week. Yeah, we did. Oh yeah, yeah, we did. Are we gonna talk about that? Can we talk about that now, or do you no, want to wait? Can, we can talk. About we can it talk whenever. about that whenever. Okay, so we watched The Hobbit. Rick, how did you feel about The Hobbit? I really liked it, but I did not like it as much as the previous three. It was a little annoying with some of the dialogue, but however, other than that, I felt that it was a pretty decent movie. It was not as amazing as I was expecting it to be. Okay. Jeffrey. Oh, wait, hold on. Before we go further, 3D, did it bug you? No, not at all. High frame rate? Nope. Okay. Jeffrey. Um, the 3D bugged me. The high frame rate was pretty awesome. I I really liked it actually. And as far as the movie itself, um, I don't know if it holds up to the the original trilogy. 
or I mean the movies, the yeah. Lord of the Rings movies. Yeah. Um, but it was okay. I mean, I I had a good time in the, at the movie, but granted, you know, there was some really bad dialogue in it and one-liners, and I just, yeah, it just doesn't. I don't like that kind of stuff. I, I like. I like the Hobbit and the Lord of the Rings to be the Hobbit and the Lord of the Rings. Right. So focus on the adventure and not try to force comic relief into it because it's not really a comedic tale. No, no. Um, I'd say let it be dark and dangerous. Um, well, I prefer it. Right, yeah, I, I prefer that too. But I think because in the original... Uh, the original three yeah. movies. The Lord of the Rings movies. Yeah, Lord of the Rings movies. <laughs> Thank you. I think everyone knows what we're talking about. Yeah, but it's it's confusing. So You're confusing. I am. <laughs> so, anyway, as I was saying, um, <laughs> I think that because there were so many of those one-liners that really worked in the moment for the first three movies. Did they? Well, I mean, you know... A some, diversion. Uh, yes, Legolas, a diversion. Well, you know, some of the ones like between Gimli and Legolas were, that were actually, you know, pretty decent instead of the ones in The Hobbit that were pretty, you know, like really forced. Yeah. They didn't feel natural at all. Right. You guys Jordan, ready for me? I, I know you had some complaints because you're such a big fan of the original, uh, <sighs> I will the original put, movie. It's not because I'm a fan of... The Lord of the Rings movies. It is because I'm a really big fan of the Hobbit book and the Lord of the Rings books. Now, Lord of the Rings movies went off track from the books a little bit. And see, that's something that you should know uh, about Jeff and I. We have not read the books in a very long time. And Sam, who also really liked it, has not read the book in a very long time. Right. Oh, uh, Sam said he didn't realize we are recording tonight, and he is finishing up... Season two of Breaking Bad tonight. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm a really big fan of the stories, and I know them pretty well. And I understand the need to adapt the story to the movie. There is so much stuff added in. It's like it. I. There's just no reason for this to be a, a trilogy. There's no reason. Well, I mean, they no, they no. could have could have made it. A trilogy and been 100% faithful to the show, or even just two movies and been a, two you know, movies, or 100% faithful to the book. I, two movies. Now that I agree with you with. Yeah. There is no reason this should be a trilogy, right? For a book that is half the size of Return of the King, which was yeah. one movie. Yeah. Yeah. So, I I understand they're adding in a lot of other story from behind the scenes. That's great, but some of the stuff that they added in wasn't from any written material. They were just adding stuff in because, okay, yes, I understand that the movie needs a villain, so they got the one-armed orc. But why? Why? Why do you need that villain? I mean, we obviously have, you know, just the adventure. Why can't we go on that? We have the Goblin King at the end, and don't even freaking get me started on the Goblin King. But we have, you know, this, this villain. And there's just these little things that were different that I just didn't like. The the wargs, the wolves, weren't supposed to be, you know, they were supposed to be chasing the uh, the hobbits, or, you know, the hobbits, uh, the dwarves. You know, the dwarves run into the, the wargs having a meeting, and the wargs can talk. They don't, you know, the giant wolves can talk. They have their own language, and they're talking to them. And it's just ridiculous stuff like that that I don't think needed to be changed at all and it sure. got changed and then the Lord of the Rings movies were so good about their CG was limited they used a lot of like real actors with some CG stuff why did they have why couldn't they have done this with this movie I don't know I think they used a ton of CG in the original well yeah but for like the close ups on you know like the goblins and oh, orcs yeah. and yeah. stuff like that those were real actors whereas the close ups on these were you know CG yeah. performers like it was he, it was too he tried to he tried to make everybody like go, uh, like gollum yeah but that fixed a problem that i had with the lord of the rings movies 
was the constant shifting in uh, uh, character size between like Gandalf and the hobbits and the and the elves right. and, and all that kind of stuff. They were constantly changing heights, right? And uh, in heights in relation to each each other, and I would say that 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 was a lot more consistent in this mm-hmm. uh, in the oh, Hobbit. Sure. It was, sure. but then you get. <clears throat> They're not around. There's not the height mix in the races so much in this one because, for I mean, yes, Gandalf's there, but he's not there for the entire thing. <coughs> I mean, no. he's in and out, and it's also one Hobbit and all dwarfs, so they're all relatively close in size. Right, right, but they they uh, uh, also with the elves. And, right, no, as I I, yeah. I understand. Um, I like the movie all in all, and one scene in particular, and it's the scene that introduces Gollum. If I had seen that when I was a little kid, it would have scared the crap out of me. It was so well done. <laughs> yeah. So that the the riddles in the dark chapter in the book and the scene that they did in in the Hobbit movie was one of the best scenes in movies that yeah, I've no, seen in a really agree. long time. Really good. Really well done. And Andy Serkis is a great golem. Uh, creeped me out. Yeah. As an adult. I was like, oh, that's so creepy. So they did a really good job, and they did it better than the Gollum that was in the Lord of the Rings movies, by far. He was scarier, oh, yeah. Yeah. and sure. So it was good. Well, and he he looked better too because the mm-hmm. technology is more there for it. Well, right, but and and this is something that uh, <clears throat> that that bugged me about that is they had the opportunity to, as just for continuity's sake. Um, not have him. What what is Hobbit's? I mean, because right, he is a Hobbit according to their right. He's yeah. The it, the Lord of the Rings movies. He is a Hobbit. So right, they had the opportunity to not mess with that, but they stuck closer to the book. Mm-hmm. Um, it just doesn't fit with if what what they created. Mm-hmm. For the the Lord of the Rings trilogy, right? And they, I don't think they, I don't think they should have done with that because the the movies are the movies and the books are the books. They should have stayed true to the to what they had already made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I I liked it, but I didn't like it as much as the Lord of the Rings. Yeah, fair enough. I could agree. I could agree with that. The yeah. the original Lord of the Rings is they're classic, you know? mm-hmm. yeah. and you know, I mean, a lot of people. Started to make the comparisons like, oh well, you know, this is like the the it, Star Wars. No, and no, it's, it's not nowhere on that level. This is not. It's not that bad yet. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, the Phantom, Phantom Menace, Menace was, was the what? worst of the three. Mm, Attack of the Clones was <laughs> worst. Awful. All right. Yeah, Attack of the Clones was pretty awful, but you know, at least no pod racing and. Attack of the Clones. Pod racing is awesome. Uh, <laughs> no. 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 So, it was not so bad that I would have thought George Lucas had made these movies. But, Ooh, <laughs> ouch. But, <laughs> Jackson flexed a little bit, and I don't know if it went out in his completely in his favor, but, hey, he can do what he wants. It's true. Well, yeah, because uh, um, I don't know if anyone has seen Peter Jackson's very first movie uh, called Dead Alive. Oh, yeah, yeah, the horror movie, yeah. But, <sighs> god awful oh really i mean like it's it's really campy i mean i guess if you take it too seriously sure it's it's going to be really bad and but he did you know beautiful creatures also right yeah i think so yep mm-hmm. okay. okay okay good discussion uh so we watched the hobbit i watched die hard how i met your mother archer i feel like that's that's probably all of the important stuff yeah um as far as uh, Die Hard goes, it's like the movie itself is really dated, but it's still a fun watch. Oh yeah, once once or twice a year, and I kind of want to go and rewatch the other ones now. Yeah, and it happens yeah. every time. Well, I mean, the third one is the best. Yeah, with with Samuel Jackson. No, I'm I'm with you, Brick. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm. Well, I mean, one's a close second. Okay, but, but uh, I I go the I would say one is the best, and three is the. I mean, because, I'm a three one two guy. And you don't acknowledge. The well, it's not that I don't acknowledge. I, I, I just, 
different. Yeah. Well, so, I would. It, yeah, I would go. I would go three, one, four, two. One, four, two. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm right around in there. Okay. I hey, four had Maggie Q and Kevin Smith in it, so. And Timothy Oliphant. And Timothy Oliphant. That's and true. John McClane's daughter, whoever that was. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so. We've had our consensus on, on Die yeah. Hard and uh, The Hobbits is precious. And, and we precious. will see about UKIA Mother Russia, which I saw a trailer for uh, yesterday. Look good? <laughs> it looks, it looks, it's got some potential. It looks it's like a Die Hard potential. movie? It did look like a Die Hard movie, yeah. Is it a Christmas movie or a summer movie? It, it comes out... This was my favorite part. It comes out on Valentine's Day. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Of 13? Uh-huh. I didn't know we were that close to it. Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, I guess we can't go watch that on opening day. Nope. <laughs> or maybe we can. Or maybe we can. We'll be the <laughs> only ones in the theater. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not going to any movies with you on Valentine's Day break. I'm just throwing that out there. <laughs> Come <my> on. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm just going to put that out there right now. It's ridiculous. Rick, what have you been watching that we haven't already covered? Um, I watched, <laughs> right off the top, I watched uh, Battlestar Galactica. Uh, episode four? Five. Is water. Right. Is that five? That's five. I thought 33 and then water. No, because of the thing. No. Four. 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 Episode four. 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 By the name of water. By the name of water. Okay. Very good. Very good. You see the struggle between uh, programming and yeah, the needs of the uh, the fleet? Well, yeah, and like uh, I love how the episode started out. You know, she's like, "Oh, oh yeah, God, I have this detonator. I am soaking wet, and I, I am, have explosives. I am what so, is? I am so going to put this back now. Uh, where's the other five? <laughs> <laughs> and then explosions, and yeah. then explosions, and massive water loss ensue. Yeah, but Oops. they find the water. They do. They do find water, but barely. Yeah, I mean, she almost. She, she almost blows herself she almost up. Almost blows herself up. Yeah. Yeah. With uh, the guy who is in the Force Unleashed. <laughs> <laughs> he, he does look like Star Killer. No, he is him. Is it really? Yeah. Oh. That's the guy because they did they did the same thing that they did with Andy Serkis. Oh, and I didn't Rings. know that that was him. Yeah, that's him. But, that's really funny. Yeah. The actor that did the motion capture for. Um. Yeah, I don't remember his Star name. Killer. Yeah. He he was also in Smallville. He was. Um, dark side, or yes, yep, what and is, yeah? I think so. And, and so, Battlestar, he is racetrack. No, that no. sounds like a made-up name. No, no that's no, racetrack is, is, is one, one of their call signs. Something he he gets he gets killed in <laughs> at some point. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh well, you know, I expect him to because I didn't think he was going to know who he gets killed much. by. Nice. <laughs> um. And then uh, also Robot Chicken okay. as well. Uh, watch a few more episodes of Nip Tuck. I am almost through season four, and things continue to get weirder and weirder. Weird. So you're st sticking with it, huh? I'm at season four. There's no going back. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think I did it, one, it's one good. episode. Yeah. It's good, though. I enjoy it, you know. I mean, okay. like, it, it, the uh, Christian Troy is, is reason enough to watch that show. His character and the stuff that happens to his character. He's a main hilarious. character. Hilarious. He's one of the main characters. He's okay. He's uh, um. You remember the uh the vice president in red? Yeah, that's him. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. Then also, uh, like I said before, watched a few more episodes of Buffy, and that's really has been the focus this week. Um. Yeah, I know. Oh, I know. But I, I like it. It's good. You know. Keep going. I'm gonna keep going with that. Uh, I'm like midway through season two, I think. Yeah, uh, Sam and I had uh, whenever we had the store, we at one point put on Buffy and played through all the seasons. Oh, really? Yeah. Just okay. we weren't really even watching. I think it. I we were just on. I think I remember. Yeah. Them being on. Yeah, just point. up on that. Yeah. That 40 inch TV or whatever. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. 
Um, and then also Archer. Um, I, however, am only on the second season because I, I don't have any of my other shows, so I'm trying to drag the second season on Netflix out as far as humanly possible before the third season now inevitably still have... gets there. Hmm? Third season, is it not on Netflix? No. Oh, yeah. you know, they, Netflix, it typically... Uh, whenever the fourth season starts, the third season will will come up on Netflix. Right, and so I'm going to start recording the fourth season episodes. Oh, okay. And then burn through the third season as soon as it gets up there. All right. Um, then, third season's really good. Just saying. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It should be good. Uh, then also Justified, getting my way through the third season. God, that's such a good show. Mm -hmm. I really, really I really love that show. Mm -hmm. And uh, Raylan Givens, I think I've said this before, but he is absolutely hands down the coolest character of any television show or movie ever. <laughs> I, yeah, I like him a lot. That was on Jeff's top five yeah. best TV characters. Well, and and so is his uh, counterpart, uh, Boyd Crowder. Oh, yeah. Boyd Crowder is absolutely the transformation of Boyd Crowder. He is from season is, one to season three. Oh yeah, and he is as cool as a cucumber. Like, yeah, in every situation. Yeah. Oh, that makes me want to go back and watch that because of Boyd Crowder. It kind of makes me want to go back and uh, watch uh, Sons, Sons of, of Anarchy. Anarchy. <laughs> <laughs> daddy ever tell you to judge, judge a book by its penis? <laughs> Didn't your daddy ever tell you not to judge a book by its penis? <laughs> Uh, and then uh, on Christmas Eve, I continued my own tradition of uh, drinking lots of bourbon and ah. watching Bad Santa. I okay have never seen Bad Santa. Oh, come I don't on. think I have either. Oh, both of you have to watch that movie. Why? Because it's hilarious. I've heard that people took their children to go see that in the movie oh, theater, God. and oh, then God. immediately left about like. Fifteen minutes in the movie, we're taking their kids out crying. Why fifteen minutes? I mean, God, it starts out with him, you know, at the end of a bar in his Santa suit, depressed and drinking, and you don't get to the first like title sequence that says "Bad Santa" until he is hunched over in the back alley of said bar, puking his guts out. It would not have taken fifteen minutes for me to get my child out of that movie theater. You're, you would nope. be a terrible father too. So I mean, what is that saying? I, I I'm just messing. You're all right. You're all right. <laughs> um, but then on Christmas Day, before I made my rounds, I uh, watched A Christmas Story like twice because I couldn't sleep. And um, then I watched uh, It's a Wonderful Life later that night because that is also a tradition that I have myself. I've never seen that either. Oh, come on. It's a classic. Yeah. Come on. Is that the one where they buy him food or something? Where they buy him food or something? I'm not even going to talk you, to you. <laughs> You've never seen It's a Wonderful Life? Yeah, he's never seen It's a Wonderful Life. That's no. what he just said. Oh, jeez. It's Frank Capra. Come on. It's, it's, Who's that? That's the guy who directed it. Oh, okay. But, you know. I'm, Amer right. I'm American. We don't like uh, the directors very much. Oh, okay. There's something wrong with you. I'm American. We don't. Yeah, but you, for instance, you, you love Quentin Tarantino and Christopher Nolan. The, who are. What's the occupation of those okay, guys? Okay, if you had asked me to name three movie directors, I would have said Kevin Smith, Peter Jackson, Peter Jackson, and Quentin Tarantino. I wouldn't have forgotten to name Christopher Nolan. All right. How about that? But you like his stuff, don't you? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. No, it's not. Yeah, it's good. Inception was really good. The Batman movies were really good. Face. Face. <laughs> Memento? Memento. It's been a long time since I've seen Memento, but it was good. Okay, we well, need good. to rewatch that. Uh, okay, the Prestige. What I need you to do is the Prestige. Yes. Okay, where Wolverine and Batman knew each other. <laughs> <laughs> right. Where Wolverine and Batman were rival magicians. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And David Bowie helped uh, helps one of them save the world or something. The great movie. Yeah. yeah. No, it Obviously. was a great. Movie. <laughs> no, it really no, it was. was. <laughs> Uh, don't, don't 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 dumb it down like that for no. What was it? David Bowie, the, the something king, the he was Nikola Tesla. Yeah, he was Tesla. No, no, no I, but it it, the, it would be what, funnier the, if he was a villain in some other movie. <laughs> no, he was. He was in, oh, he was the Goblin King in Labyrinth. Goblin King. Yeah. Oh yeah. See, <laughs> see, that's what you should have said. 
the uh, movie, Batman and Wolverine the movie were Batman. rival <laughs> Wolverines, and the Gauntlet were King helped one of them save the world. Yeah. <laughs> That, that sounds like the greatest movie I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> yeah. Somebody make that right now. Somebody make that where Batman and Wolverine are rival magicians and the Goblet King helps them save the world. That sounds like <laughs> the best premise to any movie ever. ever. Uh, that's great. <laughs> Somebody write that down. <laughs> so after It's a Wonderful Life, what else did you have? Uh, then I also watched Die Hard. Did you? Yeah, because I always watch Die Hard. Nice. It's, it's good. Very nice. And then finally my last one is... Um, I went to the movies yesterday uh, with a couple friends, and we saw Django Unchained, and it was very, very good. Was it on a scale of one to one hundred? On a scale of one to one hundred, who? Why not ten? Why not a scale of one to ten? Because we're it's like a test, like in school. It's percentage based. Yeah. Oh, percentage based. <laughs> oh, that's. A... <laughs> Yes. Per, yes, I From understand. the Latin per centum. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Reading per one hundred. Okay, if we're if we're gonna get if we're gonna get nerdy here, two atoms were talking to each other, and one of them said, "I lost an electron," and the other said to the other, "Are, are you, you positive?" positive? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. Okay. Uh, so yeah, Django and Chain. Um, I'm gonna go with a hundred percent. Loved it. Wow. Okay, but that's like a perfect movie. 99 then, fine. Really? Yeah. I really liked it. It was really, really good. It was like, it, what it reminded me of was it was like, it was like Inglorious Bastards Western style. Which is what I, exactly what I was expecting it to be. So good. I'm glad. I'm going to go see it. it it's, yeah. it's really, really good. I was, I was very, very impressed. You know, and it's, I was thinking about it, and I really haven't been unimpressed by a movie Quentin Tarantino has, has directed himself. Really? Other than it may maybe be Jackie Death, Brown. Maybe Death Proof. No, love Death Proof. Did you? Oh, yeah. Beginning to end? It was pretty Beginning slow. Beginning to end. I love Death Proof. Just because I mean, it was a really slow build, and it was... Well, it was a know. slow build, but, you know, I mean, the thing about Quentin Tarantino movies is the, la- is the, the dialogue. were really funny. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, but the thing about Quentin Tarantino movies is the dialogue in those movies, yeah. and he had a lot of great, rich dialogue in, in those movies. And also, he's one of those directors that um, he can make a movie that every time he makes one, it's almost always nominated for, you know, Golden Globes and Oscars and everything. Sure. But it's all also almost always number one at the box office, right? You know, he's one of those guys that can make like the really good, rich, deep film, but also appeal to the masses at the same yeah. time. Unlike okay. you know, like Michael Bay, who can only make you know an action movie that's going to be number one at the box office, but be respected by no one. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. So uh, yes, that is all I have been watching this week. How about really you? That, that was it? a lot. Yeah, that was a lot. That was a lot. Trying to you know keep this show past fifteen minutes. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, Jeffrey, is it my turn already? Yep. 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 All right. I also have been watching season three of Archer, and in my opinion, best season so far. Um, I thought the first season was better than the second, but the I think the writing for season three. Um, far surpasses the the previous two seasons, mm. so you got a treat ahead of you, Brick. the The episode, um, the limited, where they're on the train, mm-hmm. um, just awesome television. Ocelot, yeah, <laughs> uh, so uh, funny. An ocelot named Babu. <laughs> Babu serpentine. Babu serpentine. Oh, yeah. And this last one, we. we Watch uh, where is his, his birthday? Yeah, That's my really favorite too. so far has been the one with um, I think it's called the Man from Jupiter. With um, oh right, <sighs> really? Hey, we're recording. Burt yeah, Reynolds? Burt Reynolds. It's got Burt Reynolds in it. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I did the mustache with Burt my Reynolds fingers as Burt Reynolds. And oh, so that hilarious. one was really good too. Yeah. Oh. I'm looking forward to that, this now. That Archer says some things in three a, or yeah, I think so. No, four. I think it was number four. Okay. Yeah, just such a good season. I, I cannot wait. It's really, really funny. I laugh like an idiot. Whatever I am <laughs> yeah. watching, I'll be, I'll be, or I'll hear something if I'm like it's on in the background. I'm like doing something in the kitchen. I hear something. And I just go like ah, ah, ah. that's so funny. Ah! 
the day is mine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just a really, really great season. If you, if uh, anybody listening or watching um, hasn't watched any of Archer, it's it's an it's a animated show, but it's um, it's pretty great. Some of the best comedy stuff that it's you'll find. It's a bingo. On TV. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, I also watched How I Met Your Mother. Um, I'm not nearly as invested in it in uh, in uh, the show as Jordan is. Um, and I am also ready for it to be yeah. be over with. I don't even watch the show, and I'm ready for it to be over. <laughs> okay, yeah. don't be rude. Uh, Fringe, we're getting closer and closer to the end of that series. A couple more, like three, three more episodes? Yeah, three, three more, more episodes, episodes and no more Fringe. That is also a show I would like to get started watching. Uh, it's, it's pretty good. Yeah, Three more episodes of Fringe and Spartacus starts back up? Yeah, I think so. Um, what, Die Hard. We've already talked about Die Hard. Yeah, like that movie a lot. Um, then last night I watched The Amazing Spider-Man. Oh, didn't you? Already... I dig that movie. Yeah, so do I. Didn't you see it in theaters though? I did. I saw okay. it in theaters. I, I was watching it last night. I accident or I made the mistake of putting that movie on as a movie for me to fall asleep to. Yeah. And yeah. I end up watching a, at least half of it. Well, you know, I, I'm a big fan of that movie, too, um, because it's, it's, it's really good. It's better than the Sam Raimi ones. Oh, yeah, except for maybe two. I mean, it's really yeah. close to yeah. two, but I still think it's better. Yeah. Um, but, you know, because it stays, it stays more true to the books. Yeah. You know, I mean, like, for instance, Peter Parker built his web shooters yeah. in the book, okay? He didn't have little cum stains on his wrists, okay? <laughs> <laughs> he built his web shooters. Brick. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay. I know you're very passionate about <laughs> comics. Okay. Per perhaps you can find a little less colorful uh, uh, ways of describing things. Don't be so crass. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, no, I, I agree with you. It's... Um, <laughs> it was it was better. Um, well, and also, I mean, Gwen Stacy was the original Spider-Man love interest. Yeah, Mary Jane was not. She did not in high school. They did not like you know converse and know each other sure. really well, and then start dating in in college. You know, what right? I mean? And they just blew over Gwen Stacy until the third movie when she was like a cuckold. Hmm. You remember she was like because she was the one who like kissed Spider Man when he was on stage in the third movie and it caused all this. It it was horrible. It was just awful. But you know Emma Stone does a really good job of being Gwen Stacy. Sure. And I'm really bummed that they killed Captain Stacy so quickly. I was really I would have loved to have seen Dennis Leary do a little the second. Bit more. Yeah, do yeah, at yeah. least the second movie. Sure. Which you know it inevitably will be in the three part. Amazing yeah, Spider-Man series. But um, speaking of the Amazing Spider-Man, I heard that uh, Jamie Foxx is going to be Electro in the first in the second. I, yeah, one. I saw that too. Yep, it's kind of interesting. It is interesting, but you know, I'm I'm curious to see what they do with it because Electro looked pretty ridiculous in the comics. So yeah, I'm. Uh, <laughs> I'm maybe uh, they'll, maybe they'll do it better. Yeah, maybe they will. Uh, Christopher Nolan. That I was going to say, uh, so. the Joker looked pretty ridiculous in the comics, too. Well, yeah. but you know. They fixed that. Uh, but, yeah, yeah. Bane looked really ridiculous in the comics. Well, yeah, because, you know, Bane looked like, I don't know, Jose Canseco. They, um, I was listening in that Fat Man on Batman I was listening to today. Do you guys remember uh, uh, Bane being in, in uh, what was it? Maybe it was the third Batman and Robin, or yeah, something? he was Bane. Mr. Uh -huh. Freeze was Arnold Schwarzenegger, and Uma Thurman was Poison Ivy. Yeah, because Bane yeah. was Bane, Bane was, was one of Poison Ivy's, Ivy's uh, henchmen. Henchmen, yeah, right, yeah. I just I didn't remember that. I didn't. Who yeah. who played him though? I can't remember uh, who played some him. Some bodybuilder guy. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it wasn't anybody big. I didn't think it was. Well, he physically he was a very large <laughs> person, but but it was he he wasn't a, he wasn't a big name in acting, no. Yes. Okay. Uh, I see what you did there. I make jokes. <laughs> and the Hobbit, of course. 
Uh, yeah, yeah. All right, well, that moves us into what you're playing. I have something to add. I finished oh. season two of Homeland. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have not finished season yeah. two of Homeland. I am three episodes out. So next week. Well, if if I can get the if I can get the episodes. <laughs> so if what now? <laughs> okay. If I can get the episodes, then yes, I will have okay. them fully watched. You'll have to but DVR you them. Know, I would. Uh, of course, I, I will. I'll, take I'll watch them on demand. All right. Uh, Brick, I'm, I'm going to take this opportunity to explain to you how Levelator works. <laughs> it it takes the loudest thing in the recording and the smallest thing, and it comes together in the middle. So so I just so I just you threw just I set just set the high high bar on uh, the the volume. I just threw the curve. <laughs> <laughs> just threw the curve. <laughs> so uh, if if uh, this episode's audio quality sucks, you can think Brick. For the profanity <laughs> and for bad audio quality. <laughs> and colorful statements about Spider-Man. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. So All right. What you playing? What you playing, Brick? Come on, Brick. Um, well, I finished Halo 4 finally. Nice. And it's really good. God, that is that, I don't care what anybody says, is the best Halo in the series. Or none. Um. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Halo Two is really good. Halo Two is really good, and that's Halo. my that's my second favorite is Halo Two. Yeah. But um, Halo Four was just so good. I mean, I can't believe how good of a job Three Four Three did with it. It feels better. Yeah, it feels better, and it looks way better. Yeah, the weapons are so well done in I, the Halo Four. Oh, yeah. I I wonder about Studio Three Four Three. Do you think that they got their name from three four three Guilty Spark? No, it's it's an internal Microsoft uh, developer. They right. they Microsoft put together that team. But yes, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, okay. Absolutely. Yeah. That's where they got their name. Okay. Yeah. Um. It, yeah. it was it was a team tailor made to For continue Halo. the Halo series. Yeah. And they did a fantastic job with it. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and I, I get a lot of people coming into the store um, that are trading in it, and they hated it. You know, there's what? Like, yeah, like they'll say, uh, you know, they want to trade it in, and, and I'll be like, oh, how'd you like it? You know, I'm, I just finished it. I'm working my way through it. And they absolutely hated it. You know, they were like, oh, it was too much like Call of Duty. I was like, well, but it was, no. it was so much. It was, it was better. So yeah. much better than, especially, and they'll be like, oh, you know, Reach was better. I was like, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> let's not talk crazy now. Let's, uh, let's not talk crazy. You want me to, you want me to take your Next game, Next you're going right? to say is that ODST was your favorite in the series. <laughs> <laughs> you. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, you know, I'm mean, sad face, Jordan. You know, and it's really hard because, you know, I just have to like put on a smiley face, but. In reality, I want to just take. I just want to be like, ah, uh, no, get out, just leave now. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Get out. Of Who here. do you think you are? Just saying that Halo Reach is better no, than no, Halo no. Four. You don't say anything, Brick. You stare at him a couple times, blink, and then just walk away. But don't actually do that. Well, yes, I, no, no, God, no, I can't do that. But uh, uh, finish that. Really like that. And then I started. Um, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, and I'm like three levels in, and I don't know that I'm going to finish this one. I mean, like, I might just I might just trade it in. I'll, I'll finish it eventually. I, I might finish it eventually, but then that part of my mind goes, oh, well, you know, the value of it is already going down. You know? Right. <laughs> well, because it's just, I'm so done with, with Call of Duty. It's just yeah. it's the same stuff over and over again, and then they try to change things up, and, you know, zombies is fun with friends and everything, but it's just it's repetitive. Yeah. I was just I'm I'm okay. I'm done. You know. I think I would rather be done with that and start like uh, um, Hitman Absolution, which I also have sitting there. Oh, open. okay. Taunting you? Yeah, yeah. You know, because I you know I made this deal with myself that I'm going to finish Halo Four, that I'm going to finish Call of Duty, that I'm going to finish Hitman Absolution. But I'm, so you're Call going to cheat? Are, what's that? You're going to cheat and just stop playing Call of Duty? 
Yeah, I think I'm going to cheat on my own plan. You know what? The Call of Duty games are so short. Just go ahead and burn burn through it. Well, I mean, yeah. If you put a few hours into it, just consider it this way. You're already halfway through the game. Well, I'm like a quarter of the way through. I looked it up. So like an hour and <laughs> yeah, yeah, minutes or something yeah, like it's, that? It's not that bad. I mean, I guess, I guess I could. But also, I was uh, um, when I was going around the store today losing my mind because there was too many people in it, um, I saw on the shelf Red Dead Redemption, and I realized I have never finished that game. Me either. Yeah. And, and uh, I, it was so good. I loved it so much when I bought it. Um, but I made the horrible mistake of purchasing it for PlayStation 3, and I hate playing games for PlayStation 3. Sure. But when it came out, um, that was all that was available uh, when I was working at, at Best Buy, and so I was like, oh, sure. well, it won't be that bad. And uh, But now they've got that Game of the Year edition that's got Undead Nightmare and everything in it, so I think I'm just going to pick that up because it's like 30 bucks. Yeah, you know? yeah that's, a, that's a great deal. Yeah, it's, it's funny that you're talking about Red Dead Redemption because... I was playing. Um, I was playing a game the other day, and uh, this kid Dakota. I was in in a party chat with him. He was playing Black Ops Two, and his girlfriend was in there, and she was playing Red Dead Redemption. Oh, okay. So it was it was really cool. She was playing it through for the first time, oh. and just really enjoying it. She said it's probably the best game that she's ever played. Well, yeah, so. I mean it's it's an incredible Western game. Yeah, and you know I I didn't get incredibly there's a lot of far through it. it. There's a lot of rep, repetitive quest type stuff in there, but uh, the game in general just felt really nice. Oh yeah, yeah, it just yeah. it felt really really good. And then the last thing I was playing was just a little bit more of uh, Star Wars: The Old Republic, and I still really like that game, but I don't know, they've they've got me. Under their thumb, as it were. Oh yeah. Yeah, because I'm I'm paying for it now, and I, I'm in that same situation where I don't feel like I'm you know that playing it free. quite enough. I know, but it's it's free. However, um, if you want your resting XP or to even gain regular XP as you're you know going through and killing stuff, you have to pay for it. Otherwise, you're earning like a quarter of the P, uh, the XP that uh, you would be normally. And that's fine. Well, no, it, that game is already it, a very serious grind. Oh, okay. It would be fine with rest XP and regular XP. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it would be fine, but you know, I'm I stopped playing it um, when I first got it when I was like a level 18, and now I'm like a level 21, and so I want to get to 50, and then I'll stop paying for it. But I want to get to 50 because, and the quickest way to get to 50 is to you know pay sure. for it so that you can grind out the XP. Right. Okay, I got you. All right, Jordan, uh, what you playing there, bud? Uh, a couple weeks ago, I started a replay of Mass Effect 1. I was going to do the entire trilogy and just play through and not play anything else, and I've done really well. I finished the first Mass Effect, and I think under 12 hours of gameplay time went did you, through. And did you, did you do it on medium? or No, I did medium? it on casual. Casual. It's easy, yeah. Okay. Because I, I'm not trying to get the full gameplay experience. I'm trying to get the story, and I'm trying to set up my characters to run my character through the entire, right. uh, the entire three games carry over the same guy. Um, so I am about, I would say probably two thirds of the way finished with Mass Effect Two now. Yeah. I've put in a lot of time. Uh, I had three days off, and that's all I was doing was playing Mass Effect. And Mass Effect Two, it's amazing when you're going. Uh, Back to back, like I am, it's amazing the difference between those two games. You don't notice it so much when there's like that year space between them. Yeah. But when you play them within the same day, it's like, wow. Oh, and you're going to see the same thing again whenever you go to Mass Effect, Effect 3, 3, I'm, I'm sure. sure. And Mass Effect 2 is really good. I mean, the combat flows really well, the, the cover system has been fixed, the uh, biotic powers are much more, I guess they're much easier to use. It makes sense now, and I play a full biotic, so that's really cool. Um, my character looks awesome. He looks very mean and evil, and he's got glowing red eyes. His face is falling apart. He's got a little bit of the leprosy. From, from uh, the evil-induced leprosy. Yeah. yeah. Which yeah. is funny about my Bioware games. I always tend to have evil-induced <laughs> leprosy in those games. Yep. Yeah. 
so I'm definitely playing a full-on Renegade character, and I, I still have almost a full bar of Paragon points this time around, so I don't always do the... Almost a full bar. <laughs> well, I mean, if I, did, if I was going through and doing all the side quests and things like that, I could probably get about a half of, halfway up the, uh, the Paragon side just from... Sure. St- I don't always choose the most evil option. Well, I think you Especially should, though. when it comes to talent. I mean, you well, should go big or go home. No, but my problem, my thing is, is that the character I'm playing isn't so much evil, is that he he don't take nothing from nobody. Like, right. if somebody lip gives him a lip, like anybody, he will pull a gun on them. You give me a lip, boy? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it's I'm like going to put the smack down. I'm going to pistol whip the next, next person that says shenanigans kind of stuff. <laughs> so... I really like the games. They're they're growing on me more and more. The story is really cool. Uh, I'm gonna lose a lot. I don't think I'm gonna lose any of my main characters, but I lost a lot of the crew of the Normandy because of the 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 way I did the timing on this. So most I'm gonna I'm gonna show up to save the universe and have killed gotten most of my people killed. But you know maybe maybe well, the goblin hopefully King, that works out. Maybe for you. the goblin king will come and help me out. <laughs> well, um. That's it's really interesting because I think I told you that I got you got the trilogy. The, I got the trilogy, um, and I think that is something that I'm gonna do. Yeah, is just play through the first two on casual, and, and then, then and then get to I the, might go to normal on the other one. I yeah. I just want the story. Yeah, I, I just want the story too because it's something that I never I played through the first one and loved it, but I never played through. The second one all the way. I got oh, and the second one the is second. a lot better of a game. Yeah, and I never played through the second one all the way. I never really got into it that much. I uh, just, you know, other yeah. things. I, and I've played through the first two, but I, I went to start with Mass Effect three, and I had no save files anymore. I couldn't import my character, so I was like, you know what? Whatever, like screw it. I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna start over from scratch and carry this character through the story. Yeah. So. Jeffrey, what have you been playing? I know. What uh, I played uh, some Skyrim. Oh. And uh, continuing my evil character, have been enjoying that. Um, I finished out the, not the Vampire Lord storyline, but I have finished out the Vampire Lord character progression. So I maxed that out, um, got that 20 point achievement, whatnot, for, um, I guess fully developing the vampire lord abilities and it's pretty cool. Uh, I watched I watched it. it was awesome. The, my character trained into the vampire lord is at least twice as powerful as my as the its regular mage abilities like Oh really? Oh yeah. Yeah, he's just one and dunning everything that walks up to him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's got yeah. the, there's this cool cool power where if you're in combat this like flurry of bats surrounds you, and I showed Jordan um, because they uh, they have a vampiric feeding thing. These bats do, and so I just went and stood next to somebody that was attacking me, and it the bats like ate them up and was feeding them health, feeding, feeding me health from uh, from them. Pretty much a drain. And yeah. Then, so I just stood there and uh, killed. And then killed does this. does your vampire character stand there and go eighth? Eight bats. One. Seven. Seven bats. Ah, ah, ah. Christopher Walken, the... Christopher uh, Walken, the vampire? <laughs> the count? No, that's not quite who he is. You understand? Stop <laughs> it. Uh, yeah, so that's it. I'm looking forward to uh, finishing up on my achievements. Of course, while I was... Trying to get these achievements done. Achievements done. Um, they came out with another expansion, which added achievements. So that's something. But this is my first playthrough of the Dark Brotherhood storyline. And really, yeah, yeah. And so that's going to be pretty interesting. I'm going through with the Thieves Guild because I got uh, through a glitch in the game. I got stuck on the. Uh, Were you not able to get to that door? Oh, I can get through it now. I just have oh. to go go back to it. Oh. Uh, there was, I, I think I talked about this on a previous podcast, Brick, but there was a um, there was a master level locked door, mm-hmm. 
that I need to get into to progress the storyline for the Vampire Lord thing. And um, the guy, a guy you fight in the previous room drops the key. His corpse disappeared because I went through with the Vampire Lord and uh, just drained him of blood with my blood magic. So His you corpse didn't disappeared, get the cut. No key. No key. And I had not done any lock picking with this character because it was absolutely 100% full magic user. Yeah. Full destruction magic. So no, no, no lock picking skills. No lock picking skills. But now I am up to level 50 in lock picking, and that's. Uh, that's good enough for me to be able to pick master locks. Oh, okay, okay. Um, that's still that still really sucks though. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, and it I, like, I have I have heard of uh, of glitches like that. Well, and I found that a lot since I since I picked up that expansion. Um, that whenever I'm using the the blood magic abilities, then I will I will occasionally lose corpses, and it's caused me problems never to that extent though. Mm. So. Um, so that's it. Yeah, just uh, just a little bit of Skyrim, and you know, it's a, a game. It's one of those games that that I don't get to play games very often, but it's one of those that's always going to be worth. I think uh, that worth its money because uh, I get so much out of them. It might be on my list after game after uh, Mass Effect. Yeah, and who knows? Maybe I'll go and play through uh, Mass Effect Thanks Three. Sure. Yeah, because. I, I have. I think I have two saves. fully developed characters, yeah. that either of which I could play through. So, yeah. so I forgot to to add, and I'll go into my mobile gaming section here. Ooh, I downloaded uh, three games this last week. Uh, I had a lot of downtime in my office and downloaded cell phone games. So first, I actually paid for one, which was exciting for me because that doesn't happen very often. I got the Star Wars Angry Birds. Oh, very cool. Yeah, that cost cool. money ninety nine cents. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was less it's like than the Angry, Angry Birds games are not expensive. Yeah, unless you buy them on Xbox. Yeah. <laughs> so it was Star Wars. It was really. I mean, it's fun. It's Angry Birds. So whatever. But sure. you know, lightsabers and force powers. Uh, so that was cool. I got to do that. Um, downloaded the way too coming out way too late. Way way too late. Uh, Scrabble slash words with friends. It's called Alpha Jackson. This is the one that's actually made by Microsoft with Xbox Live achievements and things like that. Oh, okay. And uh, I am like two two turns away from beating, winning my first game against Sam, which I have, don't think I've ever beat him at a game of Scrabble before. <laughs> he was calling me out on shenanigans. And I will tell Sam okay. right now. Sam is not allowed to call anybody out on shenanigans because he will just randomly throw down letters until he gets points for them. Hey, that's how I play the game. You know, there's something wrong with that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, well, so I, me, I'm like Sam. I know for a fact that you have never used that word in your entire life, <laughs> <laughs> and you don't know what it means. So, oh yeah. As a matter of so, fact, I would say until the games told you it was a word, you didn't know it was a word. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, oh, that's a word. Great. Yeah. Fantastic. Submit. <laughs> so I yeah, so I'm very close to winning and I'm I'm excited. I mean, I'm not I it hasn't been sealed, but I I feel like I it's going to be my game. Nice. Great. Yeah. Now that you've jinxed yourself. Oh, yeah, I'm probably going to lose now, but and this will go down in history. Sam will remember this night forever. <laughs> uh and then I downloaded this free game and it's a little uh very Final Fantasy 1, 2, and 3-esque game for free called Dragon's Blade, and it looks and plays fantastic. Cool. Just as good as the $7 Squeenix version of uh, port of Final Fantasy to my phone. Nice. Just as good, if not better. Nice. Great game. Very cool. Yeah. I also have a couple mobile games that I did download, now that you mention it. <laughs> oh, right. I uh, downloaded uh, for my iPad uh, this one game called The Room, and it's like a really complicated puzzle game where it's just this 3D box that you have to figure out how to open, and you have to go around to like the different sides and do one thing on one side so that it'll open a little hatch on another side, and you can go and do that side. So it's really interesting. It's a little creepy, too. But uh, that's a really good game. And then also um, 
downloaded the first episode of the Walking Dead game too, because that Which is was great. Yeah, because it was free for a while. Yeah, and uh, it's really good. The only thing that I didn't like about it was that I was playing it on a tablet and not on my television with a controller. Okay, I would have much rather had a controller for that game. Um, and then I also downloaded Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Nice as well because you. I love that game. Uh, lots of people love that game. I was not one of them. It is Das Gouda. It's Das Gouda. I don't know what that means. It is the, it is the cheese. cheese? <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. It's the cheese, son. It's the cheese. <laughs> that is ridiculous. All right. Uh, we going to wrap I, this up? I feel like that was an episode 200. That was an episode 200. 200 consecutive weeks of podcasting. Yeah. And what one you know with one lineup or the other it has happened, yeah. Wow! Congratulations, Jeff. Congratulations Since you've been here for, for most 198. Of no, it's it's fewer than that. You guys have recorded uh, several without me now. Uh, more than 190. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Probably 195. 92. 92. Wow. Okay. Out of the. Out of the 200 official ones, but then I also recorded a few uh, yeah, special of specials. Right. Specials, um, yeah. So I probably recorded 195 episodes. Yeah. Wow. At a 208 or Brick's two, probably been two, here for three something like that. 30 or 40. Yeah. Something yeah. like that. 30 or 40. Yep. I think I probably. You're probably here for what, like 100? Maybe 100 at the most. Not that many though. You think at the most? Yeah. I was just gonna say like a little over. Huh. Cause you gotta be, you gotta be uh, pulling up even with Lou. <laughs> oh no, I've got more than Lou. Don't <laughs> come on now. Come on. Uh, All right. Well, thank you everybody for uh, joining us for episode two hundred. Um, I think this is good a time as any to back and remind you to like our Facebook page, uh, follow us on Get Glue, subscribe to our YouTube. Pretty much, like water. however you can find us, get in touch with us. Um, I'm especially. Uh, especially um, happy to point people in the good get glue direction because they don't officially recognize us yet. Um, that's the problem of not having star power. But if you keep recommending the PGL lobby cast, then uh, we will be able to get on there. And I think that would be uh, uh, Trey awesome, agreeable. Yeah, if we, you could you could earn badges and stickers for listening to our show, I think that would be super cool. That would be cool. Yeah, being able, be cool. because the thing with Get Glue, if people don't know, it's it's for all things entertainment, whether it be books, music, movies, TV shows, uh, podcasts, whatever. And um, after you become a fan and stuff there, you can actually get printed stickers sent to your house for free. Which is cool. The, yeah, stickers of the badges that you've earned through Get Glue. So, anyway, I think that'd be super cool to be able to get a fan sticker for the PGL Lobby Cast. Yeah. The, uh, oh, yeah. Pretty, yeah. pretty awesome. Uh, all right. Anybody got anything else? I feel fantastic about this episode. Fantastic. Yeah, happy holidays to everyone. Yeah, happy holidays. Just after Christmas, right before New Year's Eve. Yeah. So, we're, mm -hmm. we're way up in there. There's a tube in the hole in the throat of the man in the bottom of the sea. <laughs> there's a tube in the throat in the hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a hole, get a nurse, there's a hole. There's a hole in the bottom of the sea. Very nice. I like it. All right, thanks, everybody. That's so ridiculous. Bye.